Okay, here's the question, factorise and solve. Part A, and down here is part B. And I've summarised the question here. So let's have a look at it then. So first of all, factorise. So we've got 8x squared minus 10x minus 3 is equal to... It has to be three ones. Because this is minus, I'm assuming that the minus is that way around, hopefully. Now it's either eight ones or four twos. So which one is it? Well, the eight would be much too big. The one, the eight, it's not going to give ten minus ten, is it? What about the four and the two? So let's try four and two x. So we get minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10. So that one looks like it fits, doesn't it, when we try that one. <coughs> so, okay, good. So that, uh, then it says, uh, so let's just double check it. That's 8x squared. Uh, minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10. <coughs> and plus times minus is a minus. Three ones are three. Yeah, that's fine. So that equals naught then. When... 4x plus 1 equals 0, or 2x minus 3 equals 0. This one, 4x equals minus 1, move the 1 over, and then move the 4 from times to divide, minus 1 quarter. So there's the first solution, this one. Move the th minus 3 over to plus 3, and then mo move the 2 from times down to divide. 3 over 2. What's the other value? Okay, that's part A. Now part B. Use completing the square method to find the least value of this. Half of 12 is 6, isn't it? So, if we half 12, we get 6. So I'm going to write x plus 6 squared. Now here we'll get the x squared generated. We'll get 6x and 6x, which will give 12x. But we'll also get 36, which we don't want. So to counterbalance that, we put in a minus 36, so that the number goes to 0. And we've also got a plus 5, because we can't change anything. So that's what we get there. And that's equal to x plus 6 squared minus 31. This is always positive, or 0 when x is minus 6. So we can see the smallest value will be minus 31. <coughs> 